What's up guys, Homestead Weekly here, and I'm going to do a review today on the Ecofan uh, by Air Max. And I've been wanting one of these fans for a while, but um, it's kind of expensive. It's like over $100. I got this for $129, I believe. And uh, I was unsure if it would be worth it, because it's a lot of money for just a little fan. And I'll show you the fan uh, side, like out of the box, how big it is actually. But, uh, you know, the goal of this is to circulate the air better. Um, kind of push your hot air out instead of it just going up. Uh, they have like a little image here on the side. I don't know. Let's see if we can see that. You see they got the without the fan and then with it. And I was like a little skeptical about this. Like, okay, you know, how much power is this fan really going to pull? But, um... I used it for a few days now, and that's why I'm doing a review on it, because uh, I feel like you should know what you're getting into when you're going to buy it, because like I said, it's not cheap. So I already got a fire going. I'll take you over to the wood stove, and I'll show you how fast this thing actually powers up. It powers up by the heat from your stove. So you put it on the stove, and then once it gets to about 120, it'll start spinning but you're not going to feel the effects of it until you have a full fire going. Um, that'll really push the hot air out at you. So let's go over there. I'll show you what it uh, takes to get it going. It should start up right away. I'll put the fan on there and just we'll watch it kick on. So here's what the fan looks like out of the box. It's about the size of my head, a little bit bigger. You know, it's kind of big. Now you're not going to get like gusting wind off of this fan. It just is made to spin and circulate the air for you and uh, we'll do a little test with um, the. we'll see how much it's blowing off of it. So I just want to show you what it looks like out of the box. So basically how it works is the whole thing gets hot and then it powers this little motor in here. I don't know if you can see that. The little motor back there. Uh, I'm not sure how uh, like heat powered energy works. Uh, maybe we can do that in a different video, but um, yeah, basically the whole thing heats up and uh, you'll get your fan circulating. All right, let's go over there and check it out. Okay, so we're over here by the stove, and as you can see, I got a fire going already. I just want to put I just want to put the fan on the stove here and just see how long it takes to kick on with a stove that's already hot. So let's try that. So I got my fan here. We're just gonna set it on there in the back. You want it kinda, you want it kinda pushed back on here. Ooh, and it's a little hard to see. Let me see if I... Okay, so we got the fan on there. I had to uh, get a flashlight because it's all, everything's black over here, so it's, it's kind of like a dark shadow, but we're just gonna wait and see how long it takes to kick on. Shouldn't take very long because it's already hot. Uh, and then I'll show you what it looks like when uh, we put like a little piece of tissue paper in front of it and uh, I'll show you what the airflow is like. Now like I said, it's not going to uh, gust like a regular fan would. Um, it's just going to move the air for you. And I definitely have noticed a, a big difference in this. It should kick on any second now. So on a hot stove, it takes over a minute to get going, but you know the whole unit was really cold, so it's got to absorb all that heat to uh, trigger the, you know, whatever whatever system it's using to tell the motor to start spinning. Like I said, I'm not sure how the heat energy works, but we're on two minutes now. Two minutes, and we still haven't seen it turn. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Okay, now it does go faster as it gets hotter, um, but it doesn't really make too much of a difference. I'm going to go get some tissue paper and I will show you what it looks like when it's uh, got something in front of it so you can see how it blows. Okay, so I let it uh, heat up a little more for about a couple more minutes and I came back with the tissue. So we're going to put a tissue in front of it and I'll show you what it looks like when it, how it blows the air. So that's about all you get out of it. It's just enough to push the heat out so that 
um, it's not just going straight up into your ceiling. You can see this is just regular Scott, you know, tissue paper. Um, and it's got movement. It's definitely moving. Let's put it down at an angle here, slowly. Oh yeah. And I'm only about six inches off of the blades. Oh yeah. Yeah, and this is definitely worth it. Um, I've noticed a huge difference in the heating. Uh, it's, it's more spread out. The heat actually pushes away from the stove. So in my opinion, I think it's, it was definitely worth it. Uh, it should last forever. There's no reason why it should ever malfunction or fail. So in my opinion, it's definitely worth it. So that's my review of the EcoFan by Air Max. Um, in my personal opinion, it was definitely worth buying. I definitely feel a difference in the heat and the atmosphere in the house. Um, it just moves it a little bit better, you know, don't expect it to be like ductwork fans, you know, like a, a, a furnace system. It's not going to blow air, it's just going to move it slowly. So, before you spend the money, you know, think about it, watch, you know, watch the video again, you know, t uh, the toilet paper test there. Um, that kind of helps give you an idea of the air that it's moving. So, if you like this video, Hit that like button, subscribe to Homestead Weekly, and have a wonderful day.